My name is Ilya Gorelik. I'm a vice president of um, Real-Time Computing Lab of PAM. And today we're going to talk about innovation and experimentation. And um, <clears throat> before I start, I really would like to say it's a really privilege and honor to be here. And I'm super excited. And it's um, hopefully it will be fun. And hopefully we will um, meet together, together again in similar events in the future. So the topic of my presentation is um, a PAM real-time computing lab and cryptocortex, a story of innovation and experimentation. And um, this is going to be a live demo, meaning that everything we're going to be seeing today, experiencing today, we'll do it together. <clears throat> There's going to be new software, a lot of new features, a lot of new opportunities to so something go wrong. So it's going to be exciting. So as I said, I am a vice president of Real-Time Computing Lab and the topic of my presentation described on the right side. And I don't want to bore you with reading. This is my last slide of presentation. I just walk you through the synopsis of what's gonna happen. So first we're gonna talk about 3D immersive reality. And uh, it's gonna be the first experiment and first description of our experimentation. And then we're gonna go into the exhibition as a term, which uh, I heard first from Victor first time. It's basically, you know what it is, exhibition with T in front of it. And we're gonna walk in this uh, real-time computing lab. I'm gonna talk about what's um, going there. And then uh, we'll look at our review and we'll talk about core product solutions technology. And we'll talk about experimentation, which went on the creation of this tool as well. And then specifically because of this blockchain sort of focus, because of this blockchain sort of, um, Motif. We're going to talk about time-based cryptocortex, and then, of course, if time permits, we'll have question and answers. If not, we can have a separate session for questions and answers. With that, let's jump into action. So I'm going to be um, blocking my screen, and uh, I don't know why my screen is black. Okay, this is why. All right, let's open um, the slide. So this is the um, front page of a new exhibition site, uh, which we created uh, with cooperation with a lot of other people. And uh, I really encourage you guys and like tell you, go here, visit the History Museum, look at Made Real Lab. Right now we're gonna go to our home. This is real time lab. It's live, as you can see, it's a three dimensional sort of representation of a room and um, at this point, I'd like to talk a little bit about what was the motivation behind this project. So I don't know how much you know um, about our history, but we have a long history of different, uh, we specifically, uh, we real-time computing lab, which originally was Deltix, in name it was development laboratory for technology informatics. And we had a long history of experimentation of different technologies. Uh, my days uh, in the computer industry started in CAD CAM. I was the chief technical officer of Parametric. And back then I loved three dimensional things. And now when uh, COVID happened and uh, all social distancing installation basically took prevalence, it became more relevant, more apparent that we have to do something about it. And uh, a lot of experiment experimentation we did in the past, we didn't do it all ourselves. We had partners, we had friends. I specifically work with um, Abraham and his company called uh, Roomful. And for that purpose, we use the technology to experiment and here we are. This is a result of our collaboration. Experiment number one, what do we do in immersive reality? And the purpose was to make it so that we all can be together. And now we'll start from this uh, directory. So this is a real time lab directory. It has um, seven widgets. We have uh, about real-time computing lab and then all our core products. So with that, let me click on the real-time computing lab uh, banner and you can see I'm inside this pavilion. This is my booth. It's our booth. It's called real-time computing lab booth. Let's get inside. I just click on info and this is the first page and we can see as the tagline suggests, it's event processing at scale. So let's look at the real-time computing lab and let's look at our history. So we started in 2005 and we um, 
together with friends, uh, worked on first quantitative finance applications. And as time evolves, we put our platform into aggregate, analyze, act sort of software platform. It's our core methodology today. And we're definitely gonna talk about it today. And this small key facts about us, and I'm not gonna bore you. You can definitely read it. And this is our management team. Everything we do has a um, relationship to the team. This is our leadership team, and this is people who started Real-Time Computing Lab, and um, here we are. This is our core expertise. We specialize in financial services. That's by definition. We do Internet of Things applications. We work on prototyping, visualization. A lot of stuff we do has to do with different prototypes because we build a lot of different technologies. We work on time series data, pattern discovery. We work on real-time wellness and instant payments. Today, I will show you some examples. Let's go to the next page. This is aggregate, analyze, act story. So original motivation behind all the exploration was um, creation of uh, systematic quantitative trading strategies where analytics and logic and latency are very important. Later, it was evolved into less financial services centric uh, approaches. And so with three pillars of our technology, time base, quant office and execution server formed the originally proprietary framework. And later it became, as we became part of a PAM, we start work in um, less uh, proprietary tools, more cloud agnostic technology. So let's continue our journey. And uh, with that, I'd like to show you a couple of examples. Example number one, this is just a screenshot of um, time base, which we're gonna visit later. And another example, which I really wanna talk about, this is um, a real-time computing lab, um, RT math. Um, product. So few few kind of features of um, this exhibition of this three-dimensional platform. At any point in time, you can jump to hyperlink if it's available. And here we are. We're inside this real-time uh, math uh, website. And I just want to show you what it is. So we are brave enough and maybe silly enough and maybe uh, crazy enough to create our own, of, our own math libraries. Why? What was the motivation behind real-time computing lab or Deltics creating all this stuff? The motivation was very simple. We worked in an ultra low latency trading. Everything we did, everything we worked supposed to be ultra fast. As a result, we had to write our own libraries and uh, work with um, code optimization. And so we built a um, system that works with um, like sub microsecond in some cases uh, latencies. And um, it's all written in low level C on top of Intel MKL kernel. At the minimum, it shows capabilities of a PAM and our skills together. We as a team can definitely do a lot of kind of damage in a good word. So this is real-time computing lab, right? At a glance, this is all the story about, let's go back and um, back to museum and talk about um, other pieces of our technology. This all is real. So before I um, go to time base, I wanna walk through story and show you what's happening here. So there's some avatars, they are actually, supposed to be intelligent, they're not yet, we not tra train them, but they all have a, um, a palm logos on their back. So they all dressed in the palm sort of uniforms and um, um, they're kind of funny. We can walk straight, we can go to the left, we can go to the right, we can even turn around and uh, sort of use this type of things. When we really get, uh, at some point I'll go outside and I'll show you the, um, when we get tired and decided to walk, uh, say for example, to sort of smoke or whatever, let's go outside and just literally <laughs> look at the, the view of uh, New York City in this particular case. So I'm literally, if you're claustrophobic, you can basically walk around, spin around and have a good time and have a fresh air. Anyway, joking enough, let's go back. So next stop in our journey would be time base. So let me just click on time base and we're going to the booth called time base. Let's get inside. 
Welcome to TimeBase. First thing. TimeBase is a high performance time series database and streaming. We've got introductory video, which explain what TimeBase is. It's recorded by um, our people. It's a great opportunity to express yourself. This is team of TimeBase. It's not all, but it's just some of people who work on TimeBase. And this is architecture. So if we really want to get in, we can get in. And um, I'm not going to bore you with all the stuff because it's all available uh, on um, basically, uh, first of all, in, uh, in this pavilion. Second, we can go to uh, visit special dedicated TimeBase website. So this TimeBase info, and it talks a story about why TimeBase, what the use cases about TimeBase, for example, financial markets or instant payments. But you know what, at this point, I'm gonna show you something very exciting. I'll close the website, I'll go back to our room, and I'll show you how I will be jumping myself into this room, and I will be presenting from now on inside this room. There's an object called presentation board, and I will be able to teleport myself right into this room. So let me do this. Let me go back to Zoom, I'll stop my Zoom video so you don't see me anymore. And I'll start uh, what's called um, the conference. So I'll go to video chat and I will use camera now inside this room. Here we are, guys. I'm here. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm welcoming you. I'm waving my hand. And um, you see, this is pretty cool kind of a technology where I can be uh, sort of viewing everybody from this vantage point. Well, that's great, but now I'd like to really share my screen and I'm connecting to my another computer. And now this real fun begins. So at this point, I'll be showing you the time-based demo live. So let me just go here. I'll click on uh, this website and I will, um, Type here, time base info. And here we are. So hello, there's some background noise guys. So if it's um, possible, I would appreciate if you uh, mute yourself. Cool. So let's go. Let me remove myself. I don't need to be here and let's uh, maximize the screen. And now we are going back to use cases, which I discussed uh, previously. And this is use cases. We'll look at use case of instant payments or use case of uh, monitoring where we can basically describe it and talk about it. Well, at this point, I'd like to go to next level of um, involvement and from passive website, I'll go to really live demo of time base inside a roomful ecosystem. So for that purpose, we'll go to CryptoCortex uh, and we'll come back later to CryptoCortex. But for now, I just want to show you the first node, which is called Web Administrator. So I'm clicking on this panel and here we are. We're inside our website and just think about it, right? We're in virtual environment where anybody can get in and we are not only in virtual environment, we're in a room on a screen where I'm gonna show you live demo of TimeBase. So TimeBase consists of multiple features. It's a messaging middleware and it's a high performance database. And we'll start from looking at um, raw data. So let's say I'm going to Bitcoin USD and I wanna go to feature called Inspector. This is live stream, as you can see with millisecond latency of messages. Each one is quite sophisticated snapshot of uh, order book or just um, individual message in this particular case with two quotes. In some cases, there'll be significantly more, like in this case, there's a big snapshot of the uh, market data. This is actually a real demo. It's real life. It's a real environment. It's absolutely nothing fake. If I go to Bitcoin USD and I click on command called chart, this is exactly price of Bitcoin USD at 2.19 p.m right now from exchange called Bitrix. I can zoom in 
and data get delivered to us on demand. And now I can go to 50 level deep. I mean, we're talking about thousands and thousands of messages in real time delivered to us with a crazy speed. And that's also part of our experimentation. So I'm very happy to show you how it all works. So this is market data, similar to one which I showed you before, right? If I go back to my room, so going back to room, and let's say we're going back to the um, to pavilion called um, Real Time Lab, and right here, this is a screenshot which is very similar to the one I showed you. So I'm going back and turn around. As you can see, I put my screens with multiple locations, so multiple people can present. This is one screen where we can sit in a chair of this nice chair, for example. It's a pretty good quality chair. They're pretty comfortable. And we can see the screen right from here. Or we can go and um, browse through the audience while I'm somebody else presenting. Anyway, joking aside, this is time base. The next step in our presentation, I would like to talk about um, um, cryptocortex. So with that, um, let's go back to my room. And this is back command is very powerful and command home is also very powerful. It allows us to get to the uh, kind of a lobby explanation. And I'm jumping, I'm skipping quant office and quant hub and execution server for now. Let's go to cryptocortex. This is it, we're in front of this pavilion and let's go back inside, let's go inside. Let's go inside and look Welcome at- Welcome to Crypto Cortex. So here we are. Crypto Cortex is our institutional grade trading platform for secondary markets spanning across- Same story. Management, basic leadership team with a few people who maybe you're familiar with, who'll be definitely participating in blockchain initiatives. This is this copy and screen sheet, which is copy of a screen, which I basically will show you in a few minutes. And this same story. This is important. This is architectural diagram for a secondary market uh, kind of complete ecosystem. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about it. So let's see what has happened here. On the right, there's a bunch of exchanges which we connected. We connected today to more than 50 of those. Sorry for uh, trying to zoom in better. Then the yellow lines represent the flow of market data. And so market data gets collected by the base and allows uh, traders or consumers to sort of take raw market data. Then in case of brokerage environment, we have a pricing engine, which will change the inbound market data and it will add, add additional um, calculations, additional spreads. And it gets to fix hub, which distributes market data to various type of clients. Buy side clients, systematic clients, market makers, all of them will get through four different protocols, through binary APIs, through REST, WebSockets, and through FIX. This is what FIX hub is doing. And then flow, green lines represent the orders, which people submit to the system. And the green lines basically go through matching engine, execution management system, and coming back to exchanges if necessary in case of brokerage model. So that's the slide which I want to share with you. At this point, I'd like to um, jump from the um, booth of CryptoCortex into back to real-time demo. So let me find this screen. Maybe this screen is good enough for us. And I will um, invite you to look at my uh, demo of uh, CryptoCortex inside our three-dimensional pavilion. So let's start for me typing CryptoCortex.io. It's also public website. It's totally public. And I'll start from clicking architecture. So this is where another experimentation took place because we put together the framework which spans from receiving market data to sending orders to exchanges through risk management, settlement management. So basically a lot of different pieces, which technically you may integrate with some players and we did integrate, but it also was very helpful for us to create in one package so that we have complete solution from beginning to end. So we've spent already time in web admin where we looked at uh, time-based uh, market data. Next stop would be trading user interface. So you can see my cursor, I click on this panel, bingo. This is live demo. 
This is as we speak. Another very important experimentation and very valuable, uh, let me try to make this window a little bigger. Yeah. Another very valuable experimentation and very valuable um, sort of functionality is order book on the left. What you see here is the world liquidity at your fingertips. You can see the spread, $15. So you can buy on Kraken and sell on Bittrex uh, and make money. Of course, commissions, trading commissions are higher than this spread. But in old days of uh, cryptocurrencies, you could have made a ton of money by just simply buy low, sell high without even thinking. Today, it's not possible. All the market makers and all the high frequency traders finally, I mean, basically get engaged in the game. But as a result, we're seeing the prices, all this flickering, guys, it's all real. It's not a joke. And if I add right now one more control, which is very important, called depth chart, then you will see the actual physical uh, liquidity at your fingertips. Fair price at the moment is 19,000 even almost. And you can see how frequently this thing changes. So that's the front end of um, CryptoCortex. And at this point, I'd like to show you a couple of interesting um pieces of functionality first of all let's um use use case it's exchange or broker and let's just place a limit order let's say i'm a user my name is um, tester1 at demo.com you can see it right here i want to just place a limit order i want to buy two and a half bitcoins for example and here we are i can route the order to multiple locations specifically I want to place it to exchange called Cortex or to venue called Cortex. And my time and force will be good to cancel. And the price, I'll just select the price right from here, from this level. I want to buy, I mean, I want to sell up at the 19,000 because I don't want this order to be quickly filled. So let me just place it. So order gets submitted. And right here at events, we can see the full kind of a snapshot of this event. We talk about uh, this order and um, I'm not sure why my quantity was um, changed. Uh, let me do it again. Uh, let me just uh, put the quantity and uh, I'll confirming it. Uh, and now it's a quantity correct. So it must have been typo. Let me just cancel this order. In fact, it was placed on smarter routing exchange. So that was even more um, unrealistic. So I place this limit order. And now I want to show you very cool technology called uh, administrative panel or trading server. So we go to the architecture and we click in our configurator. So this is the back office of um, all um, users. This is where exchange operators or broker operators run. And I click on my user dashboard right here and type as tester1 at demo.com. And I'll find, if I go right now to trading, we'll see that there's indeed two trading orders. One of them is um, placed for smarter routing venue, one is placed to Cortex. As exchange operator or as the broker operator, I may can even cancel this order. I'll say, for example, no rights to trade. I just simply do like this. I'm going to send this cancellation. I'll cancel this whole order without it. I'll cancel both my orders. And if I go back to my trading front end, then while these orders are still submitted, if we go right now to live stack of orders, they are canceled. There's nothing here to see. Next step of my uh, demo would be really like uh, sort of super advanced. Uh, let's just go and buy a large quantity of cryptocurrencies. And again, we are working in the uh, simulated space. So there's a technology called smart auto routing preview. Let's say I want to buy or sell 50 Bitcoins and I'm going to place them on this smart routing venue. And you can see immediately that um, the system automatically looked at liquidity and based upon available prices, it determined that it will be executing this on three venues. What happens if I sell it? Just um, now we're gonna have it on more venues. So let's just go and place the order to sell, immediately cancel. And uh, confirming it, bingo. 
We fill this order. You can see right now our order is immediately filled. All our balances changed accordingly. And if I go right now to uh, uh, this list of partial fields or child orders, we see that there's a lot of them. So let's go to one more tool, which I really want to show you. It's called Monitor, which will be explaining how uh, execution orders are working. So let me sign in. First of all, this is the execution monitor dashboard. Today, we run 44 million tested orders. I mean, there's a large quantities. It's not a joke. It's a lot of stuff. Out of this 44 million, I'm going to find one, which is this one. I'll find it. And we can see right now that we sold 50 Bitcoins and did how it was advertised. I click on this command and we can see right now we have 58, um, actually 80, 87 uh, child orders. And this is called Alga Order Inspector, or beautiful. This order for 50 was broken into four pieces based upon available prices, based upon available liquidity, as you can see. Seven is executed on Bitrix in 22 partial fields. We basically sweep the book. And 19 executed at Kraken with 36 partial fields and so on and so forth. So this is pretty kind of advanced and exciting technology, which allows to simulate, execute, and uh, analyze the liquidity and transaction costs. Meanwhile, we are inside sort of three-dimensional space where anybody could come and look at these videos and look at these demos. Okay, let's go back to our room and have a little stroll and I'll go to this, say, panel and continue a little more of entertainment. So now let me show you what we did for instant payment uh, accelerator. So this is typical thing which we do, which we can do, let's put it this way. This is raw transactions. The same exactly as uh, in previous, except we just broadcast them every two seconds. We're simulating here a flow of different payments. Each transaction is described in significantly more sort of uh, domain specific form. It's no longer market data. We took these attributes and we took all these fields from the instant payment specifications. And this is the raw flow, right? Every transaction is represented here. And this telemetry dashboard represents the overall picture, what happened in the last minute, or what happened in the last five minutes, and what happened last hour or last day. It's all real time. And finally, just for fun, honestly, without any other reason, we implemented dashboard in Grafana just to show ability of this modular ecosystem to connect to different pieces and to utilize all this technology for uh, sort of showcasing. Let's look at what happened the last five minutes. And if I go to the bottom of this dashboard and um, present the transaction rate by state, we see in this environment what happens. So I guess you got the idea. You got the point where we did a lot of experiments together and we can do a lot of experiments. And we just basically really, in this case, go from ultra lacing trading to visualizations and sort of uh, interactive communications. Let's go back to home. So we have multiple products, multiple experiments, multiple iterations, and before I sort of get to the final punchline of this presentation, I want to show you a couple of things. Thing number one, we go back to uh, CryptoCortex and turn around. We see something interesting. This is one experiment. This is obviously CryptoCortex diagram, which is kind of a 2D plain image. And just again, as a part of experimentation, we decided to see what's going to happen if we present exactly this diagram, except in 3D. Will it be more useful? Will it be less useful? Will it be more valuable? Not, we don't know. It seems like interesting thing. The cost of the experiment was low. And as a result, we tried it. And maybe 
because we can now put a lot of information to each particular three-dimensional object. Maybe it will create additional ideas and trigger some thoughts. <laughs> we got some visitors coming. They watch, they come to us. It's kind of funny how they all walk around our uh, exhibition, our pavilion, and our environment. So I can switch everything in real time. You see, this is also part of a cool uh, sort of uh, asynchronous in e kind of engagement where back screens are live and they're changing. And if somebody makes presentation, you can go with that. One more thing. Let's say you visitor and you want to look at this kind of cryptocortex and you want to say something. So this is it. You have ability to sort of engage with us and um, talk about what you're interested and send your information, send your invitation, you'll be there. Finally, two more things. One, we're constantly looking for talent. And this kind of a board represents the uh, ability to kind of uh, jump to IPAM uh, career page and sort of invite somebody to join you and work with you. And second, I really want to have fun at the end of the presentation. So here's what I, I did. Uh, let me come to the screen and let me share with you one little video, which was basically, you know, in the movie called um, Sheldon Jr. This is Buster Keaton coming to the screen right from the hall. And then he gets back. So this is virtual reality, how it was probably 100 years ago. And with that, I would like to say again, thank you very much for the um, opportunity to present it all to you. And I hope uh, you, you enjoyed the presentation.